Tom Ed McHugh was born and raised in Zachary when it was a very small town. Everybody knew everybody. We all grew up riding bicycles, horses, uh, going to the movies, uh, roller skating, Leo's roller ring. He was struck by polio and hospitalized, but was not permanently crippled from the disease. It was epidemic at that point uh, across America, and uh, I wound up uh, uh, they teased me about having the fastest wheelchair on the fourth floor. Tom Ed describes his childhood as a typical 1950s upbringing. Sixth grade through the twelfth, uh, my mind uh, pretty much uh, was occupied with school and basketball. My goal in life pretty much was to be a high school basketball coach. After a brief teaching and coaching career, Tom wound up as an administrator at the Baton Rouge school system and was in charge of transportation. We had 48,000 kids uh, twice a day, uh, 620 buses. 1980, uh, we had the complete integration of the school system and the problems associated with the attempt to do computerized bus routing. In those days, school buses were driven primarily by mothers who worked part-time. Tom Ed said supervising hundreds of women simultaneously helped him prepare for his future job. I, I, I learned to, to listen before I, uh, instead of uh, ready, fire, aim, I, I learned to ready, aim, fire. With a growing family, his life changed forever when his friends and associates approached him about running for office in the now growing Zachary area. He wasn't interested. And they said, we didn't ask you if you had an interest in it. We, we're gonna, you're gonna do it. And uh, so we wrote the plan of government that Zachary currently operates on. And uh, so that was my entry into the wonderful world of politics. He later was elected to the East Baton Rouge Parish Council. During his tenure, he often clashed with the incumbent, Pat Screen, and again was pushed by friends, family, and businessmen to run for the office. Tom Ed was elected mayor president of Baton Rouge Parish. He took the lessons he learned at the school system with him. You surround yourself with good people. Now, you still have the responsibility to make those decisions, but you listen to the folks that uh, that are sincere. You don't listen to them because they're telling you what you want to hear. If you do, you, you chose the wrong people. You need them to tell you what you need to hear, and then you need to listen. The Mid-City area was in bad shape. Blight, neglect, and apathy had taken over the heart of town. Tom Ed instituted a program called Takedown and partnered with a new organization, the Mid-City Redevelopment Alliance. There were a lot of people that were incarcerated in their own homes in high crime districts. They had bars on their windows, bars on their doors. They couldn't go out in the uh, yard, uh, you, you know, without fear. We knew that with the energy that Boo and, and then Perry had, and now Sam had, so that, that if you would uh, continue to expose the issues and, and stay with it, that you'll get good results over a period of time. And that's exactly what's transpired. He is proud to see the turnaround that has taken place in the area over the last 20 years. When we look at what's going on now and all the, the developments that are going on now, there was a whole lot more people involved than just me. There was a, a lot of good, dedicated people that went through that process. I give credit to, to all of them. When you talk with Tom Ed, he cannot go more than a minute without mentioning the love of his life, Betty. We did start at a very early age realizing that uh, God had blessed us and we were meant for each other and, and we had some dips and uh, turns as most people do and she's been a part of my life almost 60 years. Whether we were the hot dog special or the, the finest banquet that you've ever been to in your life, she was just as much at home any, at any place that we were. Uh, it's been the best 60 years of my life. After serving as the mayor of Baton Rouge, Tom Ed spent many years serving the Louisiana Municipal Association, helping other mayors navigate their jobs and the legislative process. He is now retired and is not the type of person who spends time worrying about being famous. You come into the world, you have nothing, you leave, you have nothing, but you leave behind uh, uh, an effort, hopefully, to, to make the world a better place. I was in the governmental building and I got on the elevator and the lady got on there with me and she looked at me and she looked just as serious and she said, didn't you used to be somebody? I said, lady, I still am somebody. I'm, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a grandpa. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a church member. I'm, I've, 
I got all kind of titles and I'm, I'm pleased with all of them. I'm glad to just to kind of be Tom Ed again. A quiet man, blessed with the ability to listen, plan, and get people to work together for the common good. He took the term public servant in a literal sense and helped the local school system, the local government, and a neighborhood that needed a helping hand. An honest, humble country boy who remained dedicated to his family, his church, and to everyone who lived in the capital area. It is with great honor that Tom Ed McHugh is awarded the Mary Moody Medal.